I don't feel like it's this light. I don't. I'm not the biggest fan of this light. It's hanging on the head. It's not even a good light. It's just a light bulb. But but you want know that standard definition of a light bulb? We got one right above me. It cannot. I tried this literally just a few minutes ago. It can't. And you know, point out how stupid that we can learn car mind, but not bulk up. Because bulk up would be great for this. Oh, you bugger. Actually, well, I'm pretty sure we're going to be slower than most of his team, anyways. This is really just a non issue. I mean, even then we were still faster than the Sheldon. But wait for it. Okay, I was wrong. I can. Sh I will shut up. Don't you fucking dare you, bitch. Do not be thinking of anything just... Use one dragon and I think you can sweep. I would know. I have an hotel in a platinum team and one dragon dance does not save you. I have just realized Soul Sans is nowhere to be seen. Although, then again, I don't think it is a HM in Gen. I don't know, HM in Gen 3. So, yeah, we can't even get Soul Sans either. Which sucks. Not even the true move. Not even the true move. I want to say, even if we did have access to Trudem, none of them would be helpful because for all of the punching moves, elemental ones wise. All of them are special anyway. And the rest of them don't help. But also, really funny. The Dragon Dance increases attack in this gen. When Dragon as a Titan was just special. Oh, but well, I guess we don't. I guess we don't really. No, but the small extra damage, that one damage that we'll do to the Scar. Oh, oh no. I have to deal with hell earlier, don't I don't need to be dealing with the sand. And all it means is that you're just gonna send your other flag on next. And I'm pretty sure you just have inbuilt evasion anyway. But you have levitate. Okay, I didn't know I had to. I guess fake out if it's not gonna do with the we don't. I can understand that when you get to it. I did off? Oh. Half of what we had. Like 25%. But is he just gonna use like a full restore or something at this point? Oh! I would have used one. Well, I have a feeling that we have lost this fight, but we have to just continue onwards, and we literally just gained one hit point, if you notice there. 
one. Yeah, that's really gonna fucking help us, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think we were gonna be doing much if we were paralyzed. Okay, well, we're not gonna use Shockwave just yet. Because it doesn't help us in this fight at all. When two mons are completely immune to it and all of the others resist it. Let's just go for attempt number two. I don't know how many pages go. attempts this will be. Do you know what it being a lot? Let me just blabber about that. I still do not know a time for when the uh, Minecraft server is going to be up and running because it turns out we have difficulties with some of the mods on it. There's not a lot on the server, but the ones that do exist. We have uh, conflictions happening and no one can fix it. So I can't do my architecture on that server as of yet. Hopefully by the end of this month, just sometime within it, it does come back. That would be nice. But I'm not gonna push. I would like to. Do we just reset now? Because I don't know what else we're gonna be able to do when we're paralyzed. Yeah, architecture, because I was actually going to build towers in my area and just make it so that where my house is, where all, all of it being on the ground, surrounded by a giant like, well, castle wall and castle towers. Because I've already built like half of the wall for it. I just need to make it look good. I'd say Kansas architecture. Look, it's better architecture than some of the ones made today. That either just straight up look like a penis or are very fucking boring. I'm not wanting to drink it yet. Fuck. But it could happen. Yeah, even though the usual people are playing on another server that has a lot, lot, lot more mods in it, I'm just not. As much as I can like mods, I can understand mods for Fallout 4 better than any of the ones that exist in that server. I've seen some of it. Just it does not interest me. And I don't really have much of an interest in a solo world. That's usually for my own time, unless that's really something that people want. There's a first paralysis. And fighting on did fuck all. Oh, and you know what? One of the worst part. Leftovers doesn't kick in unless we actually get a hit. And I think later on they just made it so it was passive and didn't require you to hit the opponent. Oh, 
all because of paralysis happening a lot earlier than it did in the last run. That's the only problem. Even though Dragon Claw existed by this point, unless it was on just. I don't know. I will have one more attempt. If we do not exceed it in this one, we will go to level 67. Because if we don't get power line, then I feel like we have a chance of winning it. That's the only problem, but if all they ever do is use Dragon Breath, I don't stand a chance. The argument would be actually because it would need it for Altaria to use Dragon Dance like three times in a row. So that it's not only wasting them. Okay, well there's Dragon Claw. I was wondering how long I was gonna, it was going to take for me to find that. So, are you saying that on both sides, whether we defeat Steven before level 69 and after. Or after, I guess. I don't know if saying it. That has to be, what, precisely 69? Otherwise you're gonna count this as invalid. I mean, it was definitely unintentional, but the problem is this is going to happen again. And what happens when you don't have as much attack as you'd want? But hey, at least the third one isn't just wanted to fucking rock two more all the time, because it always is a hint, and then would just slow me down. But I, t I do know of how they, like, it's like... Some, but if he's one of the main guys that has potion, then often they will only want like one potion on the rest of the mods, but then use a lot of them on the main. Some will just not use any until it is their main. I'm not sure if it flip flops or just it's dependent on the trainer. I'm sorry! What the fuck kind of shenanigans is that? I don't think I'm winning at all. What gave it away? Level 67 it is! And then the paralysis as well. I don't know the odds of that combo happening. But it did. Yeah, okay, the exact same speed and defense. I wasn't even trying. That's that correlation to happen. There we go. Oh, yeah, but how oh, you have to realize Dragon Breath is special in this gen because Dragon is special, it's not physical. And I think the reason why it wasn't is because of Dragon Rage. Even though that was a consistent 40 damage move. So, what what they should have done, to make it a lot better, if they still wanted to keep it so that it, like, whether it's physical or special, was based on sand. 
don't understand. Um, Alright, it's have it so that dragon and ghost properties swap. So the dragon becomes physical and ghost becomes special. I know that screws over angel eyes, but that would make a lot more sense. But and I'd say also make dark physical. Considering, you know, you have Bite and Crunch as the main move, and yet the special. Why? Well, the Dragon. Outrage and Dragon Claw are the main ones by this point. And Dragon Dance boots attack. And then, I know as a white ghost was visible at one point, because... Well, Lick was the only damaging move ever. They got into Shadow Ball in two. But then they should have realized just make it special. I don't remember the rest of the ghost moves they got. Unless uh Shadow Punch? Shadow Punch is in this. Oh yeah, Night Chain, but I don't I can't remember if that's two or three. So that was a nice crit, but definitely an unintentional bait. There's more, but what I'm saying is that Dragon should have been physical and Ghost should have been special. That's all I'm saying, and then potentially make Dark physical. Because all the other types, I'd say are fine as they are, near enough. Like, I really can't think of what way you could change. The closest I can think of that you change is 50 50 for grass? Because, yeah, you have stuff like Razor Leaf and Vine Whip and Solar Beam. Uh. But I also leave play for physical. Grass normal was a thing. Is it solo? Oh yeah, Giga Drain, Mega Drain, and Absorb. Yeah, that's like the only, the only one that's 50 50. The rest are either fine as where they are in this or should have been changed. Because as of right now, I'm not wanting to jinx it, because as soon as we fucking jinx it, it all goes downhill. Especially like that. I was hoping it wasn't going to go for dig. Because, you know, I was wanting it to do some amount of damage, so it wasn't just going to bait out for the store. Right. Look, potential. But I thought the term was going to do less damage than that. I thought it was going to put it into like the yellow or something. Okay, that would have been funny if we survived on. I guess not. Flygon is so good we haven't even got past both of them. I don't know we've even got past once, but we haven't even seen how bad Salamence is. Even though I suspect it has intimidated one of them. Most likely Dragon Claw potentially. I don't know. But it's not gonna have Fly. Shut. But if we just have low rolls for both times, then that's not amazing. It doesn't look like it too short Sheldon in most cases. Except that was a crit that was completely unnecessary, Sheldon. What the fuck? Okay, Sheldon's not too short sometimes. Because of damage rolls. 
And uh, it's a block too, which means we're gonna be slower than the auto here. Yeah. Way. Oh, that well, that may have been a two shot if I just use Tower Ball again. Uh, who's a fucking no? I'm trying to not just spam out Tower Ball to serve some of its power points. Oh, there's a dragon dance immediately. You're already faster than me. You do not need to be using dragon dance. Also, do use it because it makes it a lot easier for me. Can you knock that off? I don't need your paralyzing shenanigans. Not now, not ever. Yeah, Shadow Ball's like that. Always has dropped the special defense despite being a physical. By, yeah, level 69. This is our intention to be like, pretty much the entire Vizan's life. This stream is just gonna be just this and nothing else. Because if I put Angel Eyes to like level 75, I'll be cream for the entire thing. Uh, with me wanting to see how low of a level we can do it at. This is the price we pay. And we still don't have it so that defense and speed are higher than special attack. God damn it. I still have no idea when we reach 200 HP. Good yeah, we're well, only going plus twos and ones. At least it's something. Yeah, but that's high roll, not even a mid. Well, mid roll or low roll. So I guess that could be high roll plus a crit. But how lucky do you think we'd have to be to get that? Lucky enough to win the lottery? How dare you! For all the times that you decided not to use Protect at all. And now as soon as I get to level 69, now that's the first thing you fucking do. Rex. Yeah, I got out predicted. At least I use Fame Tag or not. Let's see how much is it gonna do. My disappointment is through the fucking roof.
And now it's into the fucking stratosphere. Well, crib would be nice at this point. Angel, I don't, I don't think you see what, what I'm trying to do here. I say something you're supposed to to into reality or something. I thought you specters could do that. I guess not this one. There we go. That's what should be happening every time. And now we're on to a flying on. Just one of them. Yeah, when it's a flying on, never the first turn. The fucking sandstorm. Like it's to root up in here. I do not apologize for that towel butcher. Oh, speaking of that, I do have some more life up. Should be able to go back into the green very soon. All these this leftovers. No. Not enough! Not when the sandstorm rages on! Flamethrower! What? Why are you going to whip that out now? Great. Why does it feel like we're gonna be fucking decimated by salivance. I just have this inkling that by the time we do, we're gonna get demolished. Or we may not even get there. Okay, then we are. But, uh, like I said, salivance has got intimidate. I have a dragon move. Going to outspeeders. Yeah, that's an intimidate right there. Right front and center. At least. At least we don't have to worry about Sandstorm anymore. First element is faster than this. We flame for a All of that effort. This <laughs> will even get hit on Salamence. And even if he did, it wouldn't do much damage anyways. Oh yeah, that's great optimism right there. Level 77. Let's see if we can do it before level 77. to 71 yeah it's not happening special attack is just gonna be above the pen to keep which is stupid <laughs> also Based on what you said earlier, Howie, this doesn't count anymore because we've surpassed level 69. Look, two levels might make all the difference. I mean, we all knew Flag was good, I didn't know it was going to be this good. Didn't we? Like it's only 
That was the fence job. And then we just get it once. And then we're fine. Well, the layer mods are now. It's very much unnecessary now. At least it's guaranteed two shot now. Unless it was before, and it was a flag on from earlier that was not. It all of it blended in so well. There's the fucking deruded sandstorm. Prediction right now. Is this flying on going to use Dink? What do we think? Because this flying on used it before in this scenario. But there is a high chance. But he does not! That doesn't make it any better, you prick! We avoided one to get the other. Fucking sucker punched. Dare our little gremlin. Dem gremlin. Get paralyzed. How dare. Do we ever gonna get fucking good paralysis lock? I feel like we did once. Ah! Oh! I just struck my. Well. The middle bone of my top finger just struck it down onto the table. Just right out of view. It wasn't even can. It was bang! Five HP. That would have been a great time for you to actually hit the shadow ball. Then how dare you? Uh, well, let's see if we can try that without being paralyzed, huh? I know. But I want to see how far we get at level seventy-one without paralysis hacks. Is it masochism? Or just really wanted to see a specific result? It might be... I don't know. That feels like an accurate stat. Yeah, that's almost a one shot, Jesus Christ. Oh, I guess you can say it's good because they be our forest all, but then again, it's not like the forest all's ever big town. Lay a monster with a fucking and not on your spot. Still less than 50%, so. Then against the AI, so anything that's like five percent might as well be ninety percent. Unless it's Gen two. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's just the odd ball. Okay, if you want to use that, right now to speed me and somehow do more damage. Find my me. Unless you use Dragon Breath next turn and paralyze me, you cunt. All you had to do was use another fucking Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance. It's all you had to do. And you decided to be funky. But now I'm afraid it's just gonna use Dig the next chance it gets. Well, no, it won't use that anymore. I'm paralyzed! For fuck's sake. How do we get paralyzed this often? I don't care if it's 30%. Even when I have face jungle web, it's not been this often. Or even. When I use Dragon Breath, it's never this often. Oh yeah, and I have some threat would be nice. Okay, I was fully expecting that to be a crit. With how expectations gone, I just expect that any like, anytime we need a crit, the AI just gets one. Because it's funny like that. You know? Made it to the Salamence again, but can we even survive a Dragon Claw? If that was the move that was last year. No, oh, we can't survive a crunch at all. Do we have one more attempt? Without being paralyzed, do we go to level 73? Oh, the possibility to be going for per perseverance. Or give in to the level. Because we got paralyzed way too many fucking times that it's just unreal. Yup. 140 attack. It's very nice. I'm almost at 200 HP actually. At this rate, we're gonna reach 200 HP before you even beat the game. That's my prediction right there. It's not gonna make any of the mods a two star. A one star, actually. But... Ever Grande City. Except it's not really a city. The most we have is a Pokemon Center, Victory Road, and the Pokemon League. I don't know how that counts as a city, but okay. I don't think it is one of the least impressive cities I have ever seen. Like in the Pokemon series. Not as disappointing as Kalos' Route 1. 
that will forever be the most disappointing thing in existence. I don't know how they fucked that up that badly. No other game has ever fucked up round one. And France found the way. Very nice. Okay, well, this is definitely too short, but you know, I always have that. In but Flygon is just going to use Dig right here, right now. Okay, why do you keep on proving me wrong? Just to do that, you... Dickhead! How many times can we get fucking paralyzed? From Flygon using Bang of Breath once. Just once. Yeah, but there's a difference between expect and want. I expect it, I don't exactly want it. Because we're Valorant, we can absolutely easily two shot this Flygon. No problem. But with it, it's a massive fucking hindrance. I mean, yeah. And then that happens, and it's basically ne negligible. Can I speak tonight? I don't know if I can. Why is this Salomon going to send out this time? Because Crunch was able to KO me from like half of his range. Yeah, I think you have Dragon Ball. I don't know what else you got. What? I know that was about 50 HP, but. Straight up just one shot. Like that's no buffs. Nothing. No buffs and we we But level 7 7 is coming true. Holy hell. Well, let's go to 75 and just see. How much of improving it is. Because the worst part of it is that no doubt we have a chance to do at least something against the Salmon, but we keep on getting paralyzed before we even get a chance to. And I know that burn is going to end up happening when we get lucky to not be paralyzed, and but we get burned instead. Well, we were slower. There's a chance we could have outsped Salamence. Who knows? Like, I know it's got high speed, but well, you never know. We were like almost 20 levels ahead. There could have been a chance for us at least speed time. Why do you need to get a crit? Yeah, but why is it not bothering because of paralysis? Or did it just outspeed naturally?
Because beforehand, I think they did, but I think by this point. But we're speeding out time. That's something. Unless it uses Dragon Dance and then we just accept it. It may be a good start, but it doesn't matter how you start, it's how you finish. That's what she said. Yet, yeah, as of right now, we do outspeed the fly guards. Naturally. Well, at least one of them we outspeed. Are you saying that didn't happen before? I, I, my memory is. Well, my. So, all time memory loss is kicking in. Thinking. I'm guessing they took until level 75 for us to outspeed the flag on. Does mean that they can't try to abuse. Big. Well, the first one can't use big tactics on us. Ah. Okay, we may be in a better spot, but. Don't say anything just yet, you never know. Oh. Oh ho 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 ho! This is the log that we needed earlier. Where the hell was it? Backdrop sucks and we can't do literally we can't do anything about it. At least the Salamence is also affected by Sandstorm, although that may not help. Oh, that really does not help, that really does not help. That special defense drop could absolutely throw us over here. Oh no, I don't think that we're going to be surviving. Whatever the hell Salomon is going to bring down upon us. We don't outspeed it. Dragon Claw, I'm pretty sure, would just be able to Oko us on that, any voice ranges. Or Flamethrower instead. If that special defense order didn't happen, we'd be in a much better position. But of course, uh, we don't get paralyzed. No, a special defense drop happens, and basically any special move cripples us. Also, if he didn't have Intimidate, I think we could at least have two shot the Salamence. It was the first, but because of the, that attack drop. He didn't do as much as I wanted. So do we go for another attempt or levels? My masochism still sense level well they're not levels, trying again the same attempt. Because if we do get crit I have a feeling it's going to go to 75% and we just have to get lucky. That special defense drop from one crunch doesn't happen. I still feel like if that didn't happen we would have just been able to survive and move on to a two shot, but at least we would have survived. I also did feel this bad when I was doing Rock Climbers solo run in blue. Because we're all like fucking brick walls to hell of that.
Oh yeah, that would be great. But I don't know how likely that's gonna happen, especially if we just got crit at the worst time possible. And also rock doom has happened, which means we're going to be outspared. So already thrown off like one of the worst attempts going. Do I even need to entertain this? I could just reset now. And I just did, yeah. Because if Rock Doom happens, reset. If Paralysis happens, reset. If Burn happens, absolutely fucking reset. Okay, crit now would be great, but I wouldn't mind it if you just hit me with Dragon Claw. Okay. I may have manifested that uh, crit a bit too early. Is paralysis just guaranteed to be a fucking reset? Because we were doing so well! And it ended by the second turn. What the fuck? I do not care if you were 30%. Because if I tried to hit 30% in Baldur's Gate 3, the chances of it happening are fucking low. And I swear it happens enough times. Then you think, what shenanigans are being pulled here? I think this is potentially the longest I've ever spent on the Lethal and Champion in any run I've done. At least streaming wise. Because most of the time in the type runs, it either be one attempt because of items in that, or the second one. During the time when, you know, we don't have some trouble. But in previous solo runs, my recollection because even for the Nuzlocke, it was still first try. I don't want to say anything just yet because my history with saying shit and then it happening, especially when stuff I don't want to happen. Yeah, that record is uh, awful for a reason. So much that I just hate it. Yeah, the first flag on now is just a non-issue. It's straight up just a matter of the second one. Because we can either be burnt or paralyzed. If either happens, we're starting from the beginning again and again and again and again. Until we finally get somewhere. We have got to be getting fucking somewhere. Actually now, a crit would be great. Which of course, 
It doesn't happen because that only happens once. Oh, ho, ho. I think this has to be the best run so far. I mean, apart from we used, I'm pretty sure we used one right at the start on the shell guard. Would it just be Dragon Claw? If one does not go for Crunch. Then they said decreases the chance of a special special defense draw. But then Dragon Claw's stab is gonna do a lot of damage, so if anything, flamethrowers. No, it doesn't none of them help because I it's pure power that could decimate me. A burnt grip of my attack even more, special defense drop to make the other attacks even more powerful. That do sixty something. Okay, this is gonna do less. I am a. Okay, zero did the half. Well, here's the problem. That. That Salamence is not going to heal, nor is it going to fucking miss anything it throws at me. See? And that was near the full fucking health we had at the start. We're not surviving a Dragon Claw with only 50 HP. I mean, look, if there was a really low chance for a low roll to happen then, it would have been then. Survive on like, one. And then... Because one did not use the form, so we would have won if we at least survived. <laughs> Of course not! Why would that happen? And now we finally have over 200 HP. You're only talking to level 77 and the defense speed that still cannot suppress special attack. Can I even attempt to lower it? I don't think I have a berry for it, though. No. I don't see it. I just see 18 fucking nana berries. Why do I have 18 of those? Rather weird choice. But they're all they're just from the fucking Pokeblocks. You know, you know, you. You don't use those in a run like this. The only time you would is if you were doing a Feebas run. Well, my Lotic run, but you wanted to start with Feebas. But you have to wait so fucking long to even do that. These are going to be just not worth it. Still not the two shot from the fake out, really? Why? It's rather odd. I mean, okay, yeah, that is the Salamence card, you. But at the same time, the one time that we actually got some proper damage on it more than just one hit. It didn't use it because of a citrus berry. And it's not like we have an ability where we just eat the berry instead. Oh, 
on to yet. If we could just save all the crates, Salamence. Actually, no, it would be fine if the first hit on Salamence was a crit and second one was not a crit. And maybe Ryan thinking that would be enough? Or would it be better if the first hit is not a crit but the second one is? Like, I guess it depends on the attack role of the non crit. Basically. It really does not help that all of the Salamance you don't resist any of them. Good as well. We can't resist Dark because we're part ghost. Flamethrower we just absolutely don't. Dragon we don't. And I don't know Salamance's last move. The great mystery to us. Honestly, crunch is not good. If I find a bit of it being an issue, it's just crunch because of special defense drop and drag ball because pure power. Not even gonna fucking entertain that run at all. I'm tempted to just upload this. Like, just all of the Drake attempts. No, because Salamence would have demolished me. I know I was already slower than it, but. Yes, but. Being fully paralyzed, happening at the worst times. Meanwhile, Chant Salomon just brings out a fucking crit dragon claw. Because my oh, okay, nope. My luck with being fully paralyzed, as you've seen, is not good. I know, but as soon as the paralysis happens, you can forget it. And as I was saying, I'm tempted to just upload this as a separate video. All of my attempts on just Drake. I don't know what you mean by no pus. Ops. I'm trying to ensure that the run was as, I guess, as perfect as possible up until then. And now we're just getting rocked to back to back. Oh my god, it hit Rock Tomb three times in a row. Maybe I should have not be said since the paralysis happened, because now we're getting so much terrible luck. Made it at 70%. I'm pretty sure it's 80% chance to hit. From experience, I would know. But the amount of times I missed it was insane. That's four now. Four. I don't know how he's able to hit four rock tunes in a row. When I tried to use it. 
I was lucky if I got it twice in a row. He's gonna do a fifth one in a row before I even get a crit. Okay, what is it now? That happened five times in a row. I mean, not only does one have to select the move, but we even get to hit in the first place. Why does it think now that Rock Tomb is the best move for it? Does it like you know what it wasn't KO Dragon Core and stuff? Why do they think Rock Tomb is the best option? And it won't miss. What the bloody hell is happening? I I just don't know. Like, I can't even do anything on the levels because then we'll just reach a point of Shogun being one shot. It doesn't even like do protect. Now it just goes for rock to no matter what. Well, it took. How many attempts for it to miss? Seven. Yeah, that seems very, very accurate. That's so ridiculous, though. Six times in a row, they able to hit. Got twenty-six percent cool. But for the AI, that's just... Well, for me, that's really not. I mean, why do you think I don't have it anymore? This one's the freebie. It's just the flag on afterwards that all he's gonna give us a trouble. Because this flag on has never failed to sandstorm first her. Because now would be a good time for us to not have a uh, keen eye. Actually, no, uh, it's still help because. But if that sort of decreases accuracy, and. Uh, it affects that, it just it has nothing to do with double team. Yeah, if we can. Well, if we get to quit now. No. Why would we do that? I know, but I'm pretty sure it's still built in for it to like understand for it to just have it so that any opponent trying to hit it. Have a chance to miss unless I'm thinking of something else. And it's not levitating, but I thought it was just an innate thing. Okay. We are in a much better state than when we were beforehand. Will we succeed here tonight? This specific attempt, who the fuck knows? 
I didn't think it had fly. Honestly, I didn't know. I didn't, like. I didn't think it was going to have a HM, but I guess it does. And it actually hit me. That's like ninety percent chance as well. Just get the crit now. Get the crit now. Okay, why is this element only wanted to use fly? Is it just doing it because it's the only attack it has that uses its attack stat? Is that it? What the fuck? Why does it get to have the crit on the fly? And I've been sitting here for how long waiting for one crit to happen at the right time? And then Zalman steals it from me, the thieving, thieving bastards. Wait, no, it doesn't make sense, a thieving bastard. And you said that was winnable. Not if he just sort of decides to suddenly use fly out of nowhere. And decides, yeah, I'm just gonna be funky tonight. Okay, good, you decide to miss. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't mind Atari being a crit and the second flag on being a crit. At least because then they would mitigate the chances of being paralyzed. <laughs> well, actually, no, get a crit on the first flag on, so then the second one automatically uses. Sandstorm, so then I can get that and then just not have to worry about it at all. But why would that happen? No, we're just gonna get close to high rolls every time. Yeah! When you had plans to potentially do a continuation of a Fallout 4 run after this, and there's the crit. So how long for us to get it? Thinking, oh, this can't take that long. No, it's taking us two plus hours. Which all that means is that we're not gonna get the crit on the flying on here. I was wrong. Wow. Okay, we have enough maximum health. Oh, my goodness. Is this the most health we've ever had? I know. But is this the most health we've ever had against the Salam? Is this all the Salamence is going to do now? Is this all it's going to do is use fly? Oh look, I've got eight of them left. <laughs> and it hits them. I know 10%. But you still want that to be a bit increased. That still pisses me off. Because then well, that would be fine. Even though we just we well actually we'd be using Shadow Claw instead if it gets access to it in Gen 4. Yeah, that's this is all it's gonna fucking do. And I can't do anything because I'm slower than it naturally. And the leftovers doesn't kick in. That should have been a crit. That should be a fucking crit. 
And of course it wasn't because this game wants to be funny. Yeah, there's just no way we can even do anything with this. Oh, when we want a 10% and it's not a 10%, instead he hits three flies in a row. I can't do anything from it, I don't have a move to slow him down. Are we still saying this is doable at level 77? I think he's doing it because he sees me as more of a threat and he has a higher attack stat. And so a fly in his eyes would do more damage because he's using that attack stat. Yeah, but I don't know when that's going to be. We could be sitting here until level 99 by the time that happens. But am I correct in Salomon's having higher attack? Yeah, 135 attack compared to 110 special attack. So he just sees that and thinks, yeah, no, that should do more damage. Well, they're looking a bit better. Is this going to be enough? Who knows? Who's going to know? Oh wait, the VOD view is if they've skipped ahead or not. If there is any of them. There might be some. Well, you go to bed, don't have this be a priority. Because for you, it's half eleven. Get your sleep now. Or you will never get it. Meanwhile, this stream is not finishing until we succeed. I suppose I shouldn't be taking that much longer. Unless that happens. And then he goes for rock to him immediately. And then might as well just give up and die. But even when we fake out, we still can't one shot Shelgon. It's just that. That buff, even without an Epi. But imagine how powerful it would be with an Epi of mine. Although, have we yet to get a crit on Make Out as a wall? I don't think we have. I know you definitely can, because it just acts like a normal move that has priority and can only on the first turn. Oh, great, well, there's the crit. Have we been wanting? There is just no point of the full show happening because the other mod don't get a chance to use it. How much in level is the angel eyes going to against the others? Because if it was level 77, it was guaranteed to drop. Is it? Well, it's likely still going to be, but is it going to be reaching full soul range? I don't know. Yeah, it's still too short. Just does more. But does the Neotarian still have speeders after one dragon? That would be funny if it doesn't. Okay, it does. 
Oh god. How much do I want to see this food? Definitely we're down to 125 and I've par have been paralyzed twice in a row. Okay, no, three times in a row, there was no chance we go on. That was just insane. Like I said, I'm just tempted to just have this be a separate video of just all the attempts right? Because, yeah! I don't know if this would be any better if it was in Emerald. Because he'd have a Kendra with double team, I think. That's one. At least in the, in the end boss would be the new water types. And I wouldn't have to not steal. If my dry bed ever gets a bounce. He's gonna have to deal with fighting the little asshole. So long. Yes, I'm taking my phone. Uh, four bubble zones. Charles Norman, 2 0 against Luke Town. So now they are back on top. After showing to me, he didn't know that stuff was up to me. I think that does not be having a way or free. Yeah, it was one of those blood plans, but perhaps. I'm gonna walk in. I have no credits at the start. It just. I guess no credits into Salmon, no paralysis. I'm not even gonna go with anything though. I mean, I guess. But it seems like it doesn't help at all. It doesn't do enough damage. And the fact that it ends back to one world at 77? How the bloody hell can we not get past the Shogun again? How do they keep on living fucking everything? Where's the crits? Where are they? Okay, that was fun. Now we just carry on the rails like nothing ever changed. Even though it would be great to get crates here, it's not gonna happen. See? And we're gonna be Dragon Dance? Fucking crap. On the edge, give it all. As soon as I see the paralysis. Because how many times has this happened now? Way too many fucking times. And the problem is that we're not a speedy Pokemon where the speed drop doesn't even affect us. No. It makes us go from being able to outspeed in two shot pretty much all of the months and now being slower. And dragging this fight out even more than it already is. But how early is early? We can say like Otari being early, and then if it happens with Flygon, then it's fine. Even though the first Flygon went a bit way more. Especially if we get paralyzed twice in a row because that is fun. 
How many more tanks do we get at level 80? Okay. By second flag off, but anything before that, give up. Start with the rock too. I don't even know where you get the rocks from to make the tombs in the first place. So why are you spamming them against me? Why is rock doom now its most common move? Even though Dragon Ball would do more damage. I don't understand. And where's the crit? Where's the crit? Where's the crit? Fucking nowhere! Does it only seem that it loads the speed set and thinks I need to outspeed it? That all it sees? Instead of the damage. <laughs> but there's no point of doing the levels if we can't even get out of the first two mons without either being rocked, tombed, or paralyzed. See? This is absolute insanity! Why? Why have you forsaken me? I don't know. We will never know. Okay, well, if we just shadow ball. I get it. First attempt doesn't even matter. Even though it should really see Fake Hour as a priority, we'd go first anyways. <laughs> Unless it doesn't see it and just sees me going faster and decides I need to be faster, so I'll use Rock too. Okay, fine, and we have an attempt, but it uses Dragon Claw instead. Whoa! How are you? How are you? Yeah. Fuck you long enough, but you got there in the end. Well, are you faster than me now? Yes. Okay, maybe the crit, but no paralysis, but fine. Even if it just means we're going to take even longer to feed 200 HP. That's where Sandstorm happening, that's not fun. No, nope, not a crit. No, it's not. What do you fuck do? Well, that's gonna go bad. So, like, gonna go up to like 160? What is that wishful thing? 
Yeah, that's which we'll think it'd be only when I buy six. Six! Okay. Great. Now. Damn it! Are you fucking dumb? Well, that's the first time we've been burnt. I really want to see how bad the damage output is. <laughs> oh no! No! One burn! And we can't even do so the fly gone. Oh god, no! Well, this would be great right now if I had facade. But because of our situation all that is, that's why it's not even worth having. But I, mean, I don't know if it does more damage if I'm paralyzed or not, if it's just if I'm fired, well, burnt or poisoned. No, it does actually raise attack. Is this worth having over the turn? Oh, so the less. Okay, so it's not worth having whatsoever. Nice to know. Well, I guess because we're not Rathacate using it. If it was Rathacate using it, it'd be the best thing going. 100 base. For 20. Yeah. <sighs> That's just cruel. Do we go above level 80 at this point? But then again, we can't even reach the Salamence because RNG is not on our side. Random and yet picks rock to the majority of the time. I don't get it. Why is it a Oh, is it actually enough guaranteed? And why, why is it using a forward store there? Seems a rather odd choice. Yes, how makes it so that whatever happened the first turn is done and void and just jumps to the second, which seems to be rock to the majority of the time? I guess fake out is. Not usable now. And it's just spamming shadow balls until we get somewhere. Well, that's nice. Having it since like for very early on. And then when it could be good, makes it like roots. As I've said countless times, the first flag on is a gimme. It's the second one that we need to crit. But I don't know how we just are unlocking the crits. I know we are not using a moon that has a high crit chance or using anything to increase it. Oh great, why is it needed to happen there? See, that's where the point of the script happened. 
That's just what happened with me. But I don't want them. They appear fucking everywhere. Like on a shiny worm pool years ago. I have not forgotten it. Have I gotten another shiny worm pool since? No. I'm done. I wouldn't know whether to evolve it into dust or beautifully, anyways. Okay, we're definitely in a lot better shape. I just don't know why Sandstorm has to do a lot more damage than Leftovers heals. But because we're at this level, Sandstorm is just going to be spamming. Fly for reasons we will just have to just guess in it, seeing that the attack stats higher and thinks that's the best move. Well, that is also stabbed, so it technically does count as its best move. Oh, yeah, if it misses a fly, then wait, what? We, we outspeed it? Since when? Since when do we outspeed it? Oh, this is the turning point. This is not the turning point. No! You ass. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on a minute. 